I'm Mrs. Krenka and I'm going to try and hook you on five books in five minutes. All of these books are on our summer reading list. Log on to media.fhps.net and check it out. I'm going to start with Ghosts by Raina Telgemeier and I have to admit that I'm only halfway through this book because every time I, I know, but every time I go and try and check it out, it's always checked out to someone else, which I think is a good sign. Katrina, the main character in this book and her family moved to Northern California where the sea air is going to be better for her sister who has some medical issues. And what they don't know when they move there is that their town is full of ghosts. And Katrina and Maya need to navigate whether these ghosts are friends or foes. And they get a little help from some new friends, including Carlos, the neighbor. Will they fall in love with their new life in a haunted town? Ghosts by Raina Telgemeier is a fabulous graphic novel. Check it out and find out what happens. The Seventh Most Important Thing by Shelley Pearsall. I love the cover of this book. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but I love the cover of this book. And I love the story inside. It is historical fiction. It is set during, um, just after the Kennedy assassination. The main character, Arthur Owens, is struggling. His father has died. And one day he loses his cool when he sees the area junk man, the neighborhood junk man, wearing his dad's hat. His mother has donated it and the area junk man has picked it up. He throws a brick at the junk man. Obviously this is not the right thing to do and as part of his community service, um, he needs to work with the junk man on weekends and the junk man has seven important things for him to gather from area trash receptacles. What Arthur doesn't know is that the junk man is really an artist and he is creating something really, really special in their neighborhood. Moo by Sharon Creech. This is a novel written in verse. It is Sharon Creech's latest. Uh, it's the story of Rena and her brother Luke and their family when they moved to Maine. Uh, mom, Rena and Luke's mom, meets an elderly woman, her name is Mrs. Falala, which I love the name, um, their mom is a reporter and so she can talk to anyone and she meets Mrs. Falala in the eye doctor's office and all of a sudden, Rena and Luke have been volunteered to help Mrs. Falala around the house. And Mrs. Falala, you notice I like to say her name, has a cow named Zora, a pig named Polly, and a snake named Edna, not to mention many other family members, I guess. One day, Mrs. Falala goes missing. And Rena and Luke have to keep up the chores and help their parents look for their new friend. She's become a friend. Moo by Sharon Creech, stellar book, novel and verse. Enjoy it. The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This won the Newberry this year. Fabulous story, a fantasy story by Kelly Barnhill. Each year, the people of the protectorate leave a baby in the woods for the witch to appease the witch. Well, the witch is a woman named Zan, and Zan cannot figure out why these weirdo people keep leaving a baby every year. And they, she goes and rescues it every year, walks across the forest to another area, and finds a great home for this child each year. These are special children. But one year, the baby, um, Zan feeds the baby moonlight by accident and the baby then becomes magical and Zan keeps her and raises her to know the ways of magic. Uh, and it is a, uh, this is adventure, fantasy. It will keep you on the edge of your seat to the very end. The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Last but not least, a man who I had the pleasure of meeting last year, or this year I guess it was, Scar Island, written by Dan Gemeinhart. This is the story of Jonathan, and he has moved, not by choice, to Slabhenge School for Troubled Boys, and it's just as dreary as it sounds. But when the boys slash inmates are left alone with no adults, they all need to band together to survive. This is a story of friendship, of adventure. There are great characters in here, people you really would want to know even though they're all in this reform school. Um, and it is um, 
a fast read in that you don't want to put it down. Scar Island by Dan Gemeinhart. I hope you all enjoyed these five and the other books that are on our summer reading list. Don't forget to go to media.fhbs.net to see the summer reading list and don't forget to check for these books on Overdrive. Many of them are available in ebook and audiobook format. Enjoy your summer and read, read, read. <laughs>